And so, with everything going great between us, our relationship is steadily developing and we've now grown closer than ever. Too close? What are you even talking about? <laughs> what are you tearing up for? You're grossing me out. Besides, I thought Meguru and I have been pretty good about not floating in public. Huh? Oh, it's already this late? Alright. Meguru just normally came to get me. これが普通っていう感覚が俺にはすでに遠い世界の感覚なんだよ。はあ、いいな。めぐるちゃんと中深めすぎだろ、修二。え、あれ自分何かしでかしましたま、気にせず行くといいよ。ほとんど今更ない
With club over, we all leave the school together. ほ、ほら、私の方のかけらはメグルちゃんのかけらでしょ。だからひょっとしたら、星野くんが無意識に手放したくないって思ってて、それでなかなか戻ってこないっていうのもあるのかもしれないし。はい、すいません。なんだか気を使ってもらっちゃって。どうあれ、無力感に苛まれることはないと思いますよ。ここまでかけらが戻ってきたのは間違いなく稲葉さんのそのあ愛の力のなせる技なんですしうーねねえ先輩メグル has been despondent for a while now naturally our two witches couldn't bear to see her like that and have attempted to console her I secretly heave a sigh while watching them in the corner of my eye. Just what is it that I'm still lacking? Meguru loves me so much, and I love her just as much. We both love each other. So then, what is wrong with my heart? Ah, hey there, Togakushi senpai. No, that's not it. ヨーガスそういうことならお姉さんが話し相手になって死んでましょう誰にでもいいから話してみると少しは気持ちが整理できるかもしれないよ Thank you She can be a pain in the neck with her jokes sometimes but at the end of the day she really is a kind girl who's looking out for everyone at the OC Meguru is still clinging to Ayachi-san while Shiba-san is consoling her With the three of them in the corner of my eye, I walk home telling Senpai what's on my mind. Right, I mean, I still don't really understand much about it. But it's true that my ability is what allowed me to start dating Meguru, so I don't hate it anymore. Right, I realize that my ability is a part of who I am, and Meguru loves me along with it. Thank you, but how do I put it? Meguru seems desperate to fill the hole in my heart, which only makes me feel worse about the situation. Even if I don't know what to do about it, I have no intention of denying my power anymore. But I still want to find some kind of way to resolve this situation somehow. Because I know that if I manage to do that, Meguru will rejoice from the bottom of her heart. And the only thing I want is to give Meguru happiness. So, Yeah? That's what I've heard. I don't know what Ayachi san and Chiba san's wishes are, though. But I think I can guess what my mom's wish was. Apparently, my mom was deaf. And she wanted a normal life alongside other people. So I can understand why she would wish for magic. I think that's why she wanted to become able to read people's minds. Huh? Tokakushi Senpai's words really take me by surprise. I look over at her face in puzzlement. She's looking upward with a finger on her chin. Tokakushi Senpai is clearly lost in thought trying to piece the puzzle together. What do you mean by that? Yeah, but I just inherited it from my mom. Well, yeah. I've never even thought about that. Eventually, Togakushi Senpai returns her gaze back to me. And then she gently says with a smile on her face. Now it's me who sinks into thought. 
I've only ever thought of my ability as the natural part of me I was born with. I've never tried giving it any meaning beyond that, I've never thought about why I have it, what it is for or how to make use of it. Instead, I just considered it a burden and avoided dealing with it, I've been averting my eyes from it. But what if I was granted it for a purpose? What if it's not just an annoying handicap? Thinking back, I remember the first time in my life I was truly glad I had this ability. I came into contact with Meguru's feelings, fell in love with her and experienced love together with her. And among all of that, it's the fact that I got to perceive Meguru's feelings more than anyone, the fact that I got to taste that bitter sweetness that I... Tokakushi Senpai. Thank you. Still. Meguru, sorry. I have to go now. There's somewhere I gotta go today. Yeah, see you tomorrow. My chest tightens at the loneliness and sorriness I sense. Even without my ability, however, the forced nature of Meguru's smile is clear as day. Which is why I need to think this through carefully. If there's a hint to find about filling in the hole in my heart, it's here. Hello, thanks again for the help a while back. I'm wondering, can you spare another moment for me? Hmm. Huh? Thank you. I bow to her and then sit down at the counter. I'm glad she's so quick to catch on. Makes me wonder if she knew this would happen. That I'd stop by here again one day with more questions about my ability. I proceed to ask Soma-san about everything that's been on my mind. About if my ability really is magic. And if it's the same kind of magic that Ayachi-san and Shiba-san are seeking. And if so, whether that means my ability exists to fulfill some kind of wish or not. The sun sets before I finish getting everything off my chest. <sighs> what do you think, Soma-san? So I guessed right. I guess Soma-san has been concerned about me. I'd really appreciate it. I tilt the cup in my hand and have a taste of the coffee she made for me. It's excellent, as always. I put the cup down and give her another nod. Soma-san nods in response and begins talking. But it's not like I got this ability because I was trying to fulfill some wish. I simply inherited some magic from my mom who was a witch. Right. Which means my ability must have some kind of purpose. A purpose different to that of mom's. It's my own ability with its own purpose. Something I want to see fulfilled through using this power. But still. Ah, 
それに苦しめられることが減ったのではないかな Um, yeah, I have been. I'm not sure when I stopped noticing everyone's looks of jealousy. Things were pretty rough back when that rumor about me was circulating around. But the next thing I knew, I was only ever noticing Meguru's feelings. My ability has been thoroughly immersed in Meguru's bitter sweetness. And I highly doubt that no one else is directing any emotions at me. So, that's it. It's like your ability to be a good one. ないし選択性が生じてきたということではないか要するにコントロールが可能になってきている先日のシーバさんが貫いたかけらを吸収してしまった件だってそうだろ最初にネネのかけらを吸収してからも回収に立ち会う機会はあったはずだだが再度吸収してしまったのはあの一件だけその理由は君自身にあるのではないか So I've become able to control my ability. So my son refills my cup with coffee before continuing in a calm voice. What I wish for. So, my ability exists for the purpose of fulfilling my own wish? But still. Yeah. Good idea. I bring the coffee she has refilled to my mouth again. What unfolds within my mouth is a highly aromatic bitterness and sourness. It's good. So, I was like, I'm going to eat it. 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 今を生きている人間が味覚とは本来そういうものだったと意識することもないだがそういうものなんだよそれは揺るがない生きるために備えていたものなんだ I tilt my cup and drink rest of my coffee in one go Your coffee is excellent, thank you またどうぞ Upon getting back home, I press my hands together in front of mom's photo. And then I ruminate on what I just heard for a while. Mom, you wanted to hear how everyone else felt, didn't you? For that purpose, you acquired a magical ability. You then met dad and fell in love with him. And eventually, I was born as a product of your and dad's love. With a part of your magic passed down to me. I'm also in love, mom. And I possess magic just like you did. But unlike you, I didn't acquire this magic for that purpose. My wish, my magic, the thing that I want to see fulfilled. It couldn't be clearer to me what that is. Meguru. The moment I whisper her name, I feel an incredible sense of fulfillment. Stirred by that sensation, I immediately take out my phone. Hey Meguru, sorry to ask this out of nowhere, but can we see each other now? <laughs> 